guys, welcome back to the Bollen Family Channel. So today I have something a little bit new called Palette Bingo. And today I've decided to use a palette I got free with a purchase I made a few weeks ago. Revolution Beauty were doing a special offer a few weeks back. If you spent so much, you got a free palette. I think there was a choice between two palettes. This is absolutely huge. As you can see, it's as big as my head. There is 144 shades in this palette, so I thought it would be perfect to give this a go. So recently I've seen some videos of people um, doing palette bingo, where you choose an eyeshadow palette, you put the amount of pans that are in your palette into a random number generator and you decide on four or five shades and you let the generator pick which shades you're going to be using so i thought it would be some fun i have been really unwell recently and been watching so many videos and seen a lot of this now and i thought it'd be a lot of fun to give it a go myself i've been looking forward to it and here we are so yeah i thought this palette would be really good like i say it's from makeup revolution or revolution beauty as it probably now called um there is 144 shades as you can see it's a lot of nude shades and some pops of color down this end and it says from nude to smoke to bright so you have everything you need in this palette a must for any makeup lover and i think if i remember correctly this yeah it's a matte palette so every shade in this palette is a matte shade so what I've done is I've got an old phone now and I've um, added a random number generator page on my phone there we go so you insert the numbers from 1 to 44 in those boxes and just press the button and it generates a number for you so what I've seen people do is they will decide how many shades they want to do their eyeshadow look with. Say for example, you want to use four colours to create a look. So you'll let the generator pick out four colours for you and then decide on what look you're going to make with those colours. Now I've been quite undecided whether to do that or something else and I'm going to go with the something else I think for this one. Um, but if you would like me to give that a try please let me know in the comments section and I will give the way I've just explained a go for you all to see like what I've seen everybody else do so I've not physically seen anybody do it the way I've decided to do it however I'm sure there's plenty of people who have done it this way what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate one number at a time so that I'm not deciding where the actual shade will be going I will decide that my first shade is going in my crease and then generate the number for the color so it might be i might have to put this bright pink color in my crease and maybe um a dark brown on my lid and so i'm gonna actually let the generator decide exactly where it is going as well um, i thought that would be more fun however i can see that the actual real way of palette bingo if that's how it started out is to do it where you pick all of the colors out to start with and then you're able to physically decide where you want to put the colors with your eye look so we're going to give it a go this way and see what you think but yeah like i say if you'd like to see me do it the other way please do let me know so yeah so let's get this open so i hadn't actually opened it i've kept it specifically for this video um, I thought it was the perfect palette because there's so many shades in here um, for my first go. So I'll just take it out of the box. So that's how it looks. And when I open it, I can get my finger in. Wow. Okay. They are the shades we are working with. They're all of the possible colours I could end up having to use in this video. And I have to say I'm quite excited. Now the one thing I am worried about is because there is so many nude shades is how many different colours will I get or am I going to end up with a completely nude look. This look could be quite interesting and yes I'm going to have to wear this for the rest of the day because I don't believe in putting makeup on and wiping it back off straight away. I don't believe in wasting products. One thing you'll um, figure out is that when I'm recording, what I tend to do is I tend to do a makeup video and then I follow it by something else and, and I bulk 
um, video when I'm doing things and then I upload them sporadically. I don't like the thought of sitting one day and doing several makeup looks for different videos because then I'm having to wipe the makeup off to do another one and I don't like to be a waste because as you can see I've already got the rest of my makeup on it's just my eyes that I haven't completed so yeah um, so we're going to give this a go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull you into my dressing table behind you can probably just about see that white mirror I'm going to aim the camera into that mirror and we're going to sit and we're going to give this palette bingo a go right, so as I always do I've pulled you back into my dressing table so you are looking into my mirror um, I do have the palette down on the dressing table down here in front of me at the minute sideways um, but I shall be picking it up soon so I have the generator on my phone not sure how well you can see that I've um, actually put the numbers 1 to 144 in the boxes and all I have to do is just press generate number and it will choose number now it's sitting on number 45 at the minute but um, that was just a test run so what we're gonna do is I'm sure people will have gathered that we're gonna start up this corner here and we're gonna go from 1 to 12 and then 13 to 24 so there's 12 in each row and we're going to work our way across and that's how we're going to um, decide which ones if it's a struggle to lift this up and show you which shade i've got what i'll do is i'll insert a picture um, just ringing around the pan i've taken a picture of the palette so as i um, edit this video i'll be able to show you as we're going which colour the phone has generated because it's a really big palette to keep picking up. So I am going to get myself a crease brush ready. So the first shade we're going to do is going to be into my crease. So I'm just going to press generate number and see what number we come up with. So into my crease this colour is going to go and our first number, I wish I could show you because the lighting in my room is so bad today the first number we have got today guys is number 143 number 143 guys is black into my crease we're going in with black i can't say i'm too happy about this one but you know we did say that we would do this this way trust me we have got this colour first, so yeah. I am going to bring myself my little mirror, my trusty little mirror that you all know I tend to um, have in front of me. Something tells me I'm gonna regret this. So with our fluffy crease brush, we are going to go up into the crease with this lovely black. I just hope I'm not going to look like I have got black eyes. Right guys, so apologies, something went wrong with my camera and it decided to stop recording. Thankfully we didn't miss too much. So, what you missed was I decided to turn my palette around the other way so it stopped slipping because I had issues with the um, palette falling down in front of me. The second colour I've now blended into my crease, what I usually do when I'm doing my eye makeup is I put my first colour up into my crease and then the second one right into the crease and blend it in. And the second colour was number 129, which was grey. So we've now got, oh, and I managed to get my thumb in the colour when I was holding it up to show you all, but 129 is this grey colour here. So we have got a very smoky look. I've blended it into my eyes already, so my eyes are just looking very, very grey right now. So the next colour I'm going to do, I think with a smaller crease brush, is I'm now going to generate a number to go in the outer corner of my 
um, eyes here and up into the crease. So let's generate a number again and see what colour it tells me to do this time. Right, okay, so we've got our generator again and it's 141 this time. We're doing well for the late numbers, aren't we? Right, so 141 is this dark grey shade here. So we are going for a total grey look today, guys totally gray so let's put this palette back down so i do apologize that this is obscuring the view a little bit but it was the best way to put the palette down without it falling off the dressing table so we're gonna take some of this color and put it here Right, and I'm just going to do the other side, guys. I'm just going to blend that gently. Right, and then the next colour I'm going to put onto my lid. So let's see what the generator says for this one. So the numbers going on my lid is number 55. So we've got a lower number this time, which I'm really happy about. Okay, so 55 is this brown shade here. So it's not an exciting one, I'm afraid, guys. No bright colour for me on my eyelid either. Um, maybe next time guys we'll use something with a bit more colour but it's fun and it's a learning curve you know um, you've got to be up for a bit of a giggle if you're going to be doing challenges like this so we're going to try and put it on with a flat brush if it doesn't seem to go on well enough I might have to use some um, setting spray maybe so let's see Because this is a lighter nude, it does not show up very well. It's just like a very nude, smoky look. Right, okay, and I don't always put a um, colour on my under eye, but for this video, I'm going to do that. So let's just generate a number for my um, under eye and see what it comes up with. Okay, so the number that come up for this one is number 127. So 127 is this grey shade here. So back to the greys. <laughs> We didn't really have anything exciting in this, unfortunately. It was all black, grey and brown. The only thing any di remotely different <laughs> is the uh, brown. So... Whoa, that is one hell of a smoky look. So, I'm gonna finish off this eye look. I think I might use a blue um, eyeliner from Revolution in this multi-pen. I'm gonna use the blue in that for my waterline. So, I'm just gonna do that. Right, so I've got a blue um, eyeliner on my waterline. So I'm going to finish up with this. This is my latest favourite with mascara. So I'm just going to finish off my look um, with this Rimmel Scandalize Wow Wings 
mascara and then I'll come and sit back in front of you all and show you how I got on. So guys, what did you think about that? How do you think I got on? Did you enjoy it? Would you like to see me do it again? And would you like to see me do it the other way? Please do let me know your feelings and what you would like to see in the comment section. I um, am very grateful to receive any requests. So, just a little update guys as you would have heard in the video if it wasn't actually cut out because the camera stopped working part way through um, what I did explain earlier on um, if you've heard that bit of course was that I haven't recorded for a few weeks now I was quite nervous about coming back on camera because I've been really unwell for a few weeks I've had several trips to the doctors and hospital um, and I was at hospital again last night um, for a checkup with a doctor um, yeah I rang up the local like I suppose not A&E but emergency number and they sent me to the hospital to see a consultant doctor again and Basically what's happened is is the illness I had hadn't quite gone with the medication I'd been given. Sadly for me it has come back with a vengeance. That infection I have has now spread and it is a lot worse. Um, so yeah, I was nervous to come and sit in front of the camera again. The videos you will have seen recently are all the videos that I recorded just before I came on well. So thankfully it hasn't had to affect the channel too much because I've kind of held on to some and sort of made them last. So yes. I will do my absolute best to do videos where I can. If I'm being totally honest, I've missed this so, so much. I've been looking forward to getting back to it. I'll probably do little and often. You guys possibly won't notice a difference. Um, I've been told that I could be on this medication for a few weeks. Um, sadly, I'm getting a side effect already that's not very pleasant, that could mean I'm gonna be unwell for a few weeks if I'm on this medication for that full few weeks that the doctor has warned me I may need. So we're gonna continue with this channel, we're gonna continue our best to do what we can. One thing I will say is, you may not notice it in terms of the uploads, but what I may do in some of my videos, if I'm not quite up to making videos so often, like this sort of video, like what I'm doing now, sorry I'm a bit tongue tied, um, there are videos I have planned where it involves Daniel or the children so I can video them and be on the other side of the camera if I'm not feeling too good and not feeling up to getting dressed or putting some makeup on or any of those things. So yeah, and another thing I wanna point out is I do have some very exciting videos on their way for you. I have received a couple of parcels, I'm not sure which is which yet. But if you are somebody that has sent me something really nice to review, um, sincere apologies for the delay in me doing the video to review what you've sent me. I really am truly very, very grateful for the opportunities and it will be coming soon. I have a list of videos as long as my arm right now and I am working very hard to get through them. So please bear with me and be patient guys. And also for all of you that enjoy watching our channel, if you saw my um, series a little while back called the Rainbow Series, and if you haven't watched it, please do go ahead and check it out. But if you have watched it, I did promise there would be another competition, another series coming up. And I did explain that I'd wait till this channel here it's 1.5k subscribers and then I should do another series now I have actually planned what series I'd like to do and I've also planned a prize so guys it's up to you now to help us reach 1.5k so that we can have another fun series this series will be an eight part series that's coming and I absolutely cannot wait to get started it's a welcome distraction something very exciting something all of you can get involved in again and yeah I'm looking forward to getting it underway so guys Thank you all for joining me in yet another amazing video. Can't wait to see you all again soon. And thank you for all of your amazing comments while I've been unwell. I will see you all again very, very soon. Take care, guys. Bye.